Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NewCoder.com. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the Express Router. Now, what the Express Router allows us to do is separate our routes into different files. This makes our code a lot more manageable as opposed to just sticking all our routes within the app.js file. So to get started, I'm just going to hit Control B to bring up our Explorer. I'm going to create a new folder to store all our routes. So I'm just going to right click here, new folder. Let's call it routes. And we're going to create a new file called people. So this is where we're going to store all our people routes. So I'm just going to hit control B again. And since we're using the express router, we're obviously going to need to include the express module. So I'm just going to say const express is equal to require express. Next, we're going to call it express.router, which is a method that's going to return to us a instance of the router. So we're just going to save that within a variable. So I'm just going to say const route is equal to express.router. So now that we have our router instance, what we can do is set up our route. So we already know how to do that. So I could say route.get and we're just going to give it the path and we're going to give it the callback. So the request object, the response, and we're just going to say res.send forward slash being hit. And let's just create another route. So I'm just going to copy this. For our example, and I'm going to call this example. And let's say example being hit. Now we're not done yet. So right now we have this route here, but how do we expose this route so that our app.js file can access it? Well, in order to do that, we're going to have to use module.exports. So I could go down here, type module.exports. And then we're just going to export this route that we created. So now I'm going to save this. We're going to head back to our app.js file. And now down here, we're going to have to actually require the people route. So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to create a variable called people. And we're just going to require the file. So I'm just going to say dot forward slash. I'm going to go inside the routes folder. And then I'm going to include our people file, but we're not done yet. Remember on line three, we created an express application. So now we need to tell our express application that we want to use this people route. So let's go down here. I'm going to say app dot use, and we're going to give it the base URL. So I'm just going to say forward slash people, and then we're going to pass in the people route as the second argument. So I'm just going to pass in people. So now if I was to save this, head over down here, node app. Let's go to Chrome. I'm going to type local host port 3000. And that's because we do not have a base URL. Remember, we gave it people. So this is our base URL for this people's route. So right now this forward slash would be accessed if I just typed people at the end of localhost. So I'm just going to add that people. And now you can see our forward slash is being hit. And if I add another forward slash and do example, you can see our example route is being hit. So now what happens if you want to add middleware to these routes? So I'm just going to go back to Visual Studio Code. We're going to go to our people route. And within here, I could say route.use and then pass in our function, our middleware function that we want to execute. So I could pass in my request object, my res, and next. And now I'm just going to say console.log middleware being used. 
Now, when I use route.use, all request is going to go through this middleware. So remember to always call next if you're ever creating your own custom middleware. And now if I was to save this, let's hit control C, node app. We're gonna go to Chrome, hit refresh. And you can see that our middleware is being used here. Now this middleware is only gonna be used within our people route. If we had another route here, let's say instead of people, we had an animal route, this middleware is obviously not gonna get executed because this middleware is only specified to work with our people route. So that's pretty much the ins and outs of how you can use the express router to actually separate your routes from the app.js file